Welcome to Chamber Chats, a weekly series by the West Monroe, West Washita Chamber of Commerce, highlighting our valued members. As always, find out more about the Chamber and our members online at westmonroechamber.org. Special thanks to our Season 2 title sponsor, Washita Valley Federal Credit Union. And now, this week's episode of Chamber Chats. Hey everyone, it's Chris with the West Monroe Chamber. I'm so excited to be joined with my friend Claire from the library system. Hey, Welcome. I'm so glad to be here today, Chris. Hey, it's back to school time and many people don't know the library is a world of resources, literally. Yes. Um, let's talk for a second about maybe we have young people in our life, they're going back to school. What resources does the library have? Okay, my absolute favorite resource that we have for back to school is Homework Louisiana. Okay. And the reason why I love it so much is there is something for everyone. Okay. Um, it's a resource that I used in high school and in college and have been able to help my friends use it as they've job searched. Sure. So Homework Louisiana allows you to go online and be paired with a live tutor. This oh, isn't wow some high school student that took Spanish once. <laughs> this is someone that has a master's degree and, a, and just a proficiency in that. Um, and it works from K to 12, wow. college, grad school, and adults. Holy cow. So say you are a bright little third grader uh -huh. needing some help with math. Sure. You can have your mom or dad help you log on, uh -huh. and then you can get set up with a tutor, and they... Um, they help you out, and yeah. they will not give you the answer, no matter how hard you They're try gonna to get it. You They're going to lead you to empower you. They're going to help you find yeah, the yeah, answer yeah. and not just give it to you. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And so that you said, say those age ranges again. Okay, K through 12. Okay. But there also is college help. Okay. I definitely used this in college chemistry yeah. back at ULM. <laughs> and then there's even help for... Um, get uh taking your test for graduate school sure. your asvab wow there's citizenship tests and quizzes on okay. there and um ways to help uh make your resume or cover letter look good so oh, it's wow. great for back to school so even if i'm on a career search there's mm -hmm. resources there yeah. i didn't know okay yeah. great. and when you upload your resume you say whether you're um just looking for a new job, if you are completely going into a new direction, they'll help and they'll tailor help based you. on that. That's yeah. great. So one of the things that I'm always blown away with mm -hmm. is the amount of digital content. So you're speaking about yes. this, like I can be at home and still be using library yeah. resources. And, and that website works all the time. They've got the live tutors, they've got um, quizzes and things to do. Sure. But the live tutors are only from 2 p.m. to midnight. Oh, but that's the perfect time for after students. school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so talk about some of the other digital resources. There's a world of magazines, there's a world of movies, yes. there's all kinds of stuff. So we have two amazing apps. At, well, we've got several apps, but okay. the two best ones are uh, Cloud Library and Hoopla. Yeah. Cloud Library is where you're going to download your audio books, your e-books, but now we've got magazines that you can download on there too. That's so cool. So, um, you know, you're at Brookshire's, you're looking, you see all the magazines there, they look interesting. You don't check them out or you don't purchase <laughs> them. Wait till you get to your smartphone and you can download them for free from so the library. So I can library. read my People magazine, yeah. but for free, but for free through the library. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. And, and I remember Hoopla working really well on iPad too. Yes. I actually ended up buying a tablet because I love so Hoopla you so much because it also has audio books, e-books. Um, music, yeah. but I like it for the comic books. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. See, there's a world of digital content. I can content. just sit there and read my comic book on right. my tablet, download the And I'm never movie. overdue because it returns itself. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. So how do people access all these resources? I, mean, I live in Washita Parish. Do I need to come to the library and get a card? Like, what is the process? Yeah. Well, some of them you can access without a library card, okay, but we great. would love you to come and get a library sure. card and see us. We've got 10 locations throughout the whole parish. Yeah. Uh, four on the west side and six on the east side. Um, and so more than likely, there's a library near you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and all of them can issue me a card yeah, or whatever. all of them can. Um, if you're over 17, I'm sorry, if you're over 18, all you need is an ID and a okay. piece of mail to verify your address. Okay. Whether that's an Amazon box, your um, piece of junk mail, we just, just want to verify your address. Yeah. yeah, and if you're younger than that, you need a parent. You need a, your parent, and they need that information. Got it, got it. Yeah. So tell us some of the exciting programs that are at the library. Okay, well, when you hear library, you automatically think story time, right? Yeah, I do. Um, story time is so much fun, and we've got it geared towards different ages. 
every branch has their own story time, at least two. Yeah. Um, because you'll have one for like the toddlers and preschool, right. and then an after school one for right. the school age. Um, I'm at the Sterlington branch, and on Thursday evenings we do a STEM story time. Oh, how so cool! So Miss Jenny will read a story, and then they do a science experiment. Oh, wow. And it's so much fun. And it's really cool to see the different children's librarians have their different styles. Sure. Like Miss Dana at the Washita Valley branch, which is right across the street yeah. from us, basically. Yeah. She's always singing and laughing. And so hers are a little bit more musical. Sure. So they're expressing the their own talents exactly. at the same time. So oh, it, it's really fun just to see. How do people find out about all these events and story times and Our things? Our website. Okay, tell us that um, information. O P L I B. Okay, very org. easy. So O P for Washtenaw Parish. Yeah. LIB for library.org. Library. Got it. Mm -hmm. And they can find all the community events, access mm -hmm. these resources, yeah. get links to that app that you you are mentioning. That's mm -hmm. exciting. And we also have our Cattails newsletter, which you can pick up say. at the library, or you can get it mailed to you at home. I love getting that. It makes me feel so plugged into the community. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm kind of blown away with how many things are happening at yeah. the same time throughout the parish. Because we've got 10 branches, like I said, and each of them do kids programs yeah. separate from story time. Right. They do teen programs and adult. So... You know, that's already a lot. Sure. But times 10, it's yeah. a whole lot of fun. So whether you're looking for uh, genealogy information, mm -hmm. you're looking for history on the parish or something yep. else, you're looking for help with that homework, mm -hmm. all the way to, uh, hey, I want to read People Magazine. Yeah. The library's got it. We got it. I'm so blown away with all that. Mm -hmm. Tell me what brings you joy in working at the library. Um, one of my favorite things is helping find someone find their next favorite book. Oh yeah. You're talking to someone, they say something and you're like, oh, I, I know, know exactly what you yeah. love to read. Yeah. And it's even more rewarding when it's something I already like. Sure. And get to pass on a Riley Sager book or a Ruth Ware, some right. sort of fun mystery to someone. Uh -huh. um, Open up a whole new author, a whole yes, new series to them. And yeah. And that's that's so much fun. And I also, this happens every once in a while, someone will say, I read a book about 20 years ago. There was a little boy on the cover and it was blue. And you're like, what? But So you just had can, your own scavenger hunt. <laughs> yes, but if you're able to find that book, um, yeah. I was able to find a book for my friend um, Abby at the Art Council. Yes. She had been looking for a book for several years that she read as a middle schooler. And it took me a couple months, but I found it, and she was so happy. She was able to um, reconnect with the book she loved as a kid. And reopen that chapter mm -hmm. of that point in your life. Yeah. How much fun. It oh, really what cool. an engaging thing to be able to serve the community, expand your own mind mm -hmm. while you're working, and constantly see something new. Exactly. It's, awesome. It's so great. So tell us that website one more time. OP. LIB.org. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us you, on Chris. this episode. For more information about the library or our chamber members, look at our website, westmanerchamber.org. Join us on our next episode.